Hi guys. Smarty here. From the channel Smartest Stranger. Previously, we studied about a family of instructions. Which is. Word logic family. N. Or. X or. Invert. Decode. Encode. Selection. Mux. Demux. Are members of this family. If you have not seen our previous videos, then go to our channel. Smartest Stranger. And take a look. Today we will learn about. Shift and rotate instructions in PLC. Shift instruction is used to shift the content of the input value bit by bit. To the right. Or left. Basically shift right and shift left instructions have same shape, input, and output parameters. But their working principle is different from each other. In symbol, you can see EN pin is used to enable the instruction. EN O pin shows the enabled status. IN pin is used for input value. OUT pin is used to show the result after shifting of bits. N parameters specify the number of bit positions to be shifted. First we take a look on shift right instruction. Shift right instruction is used to shift the content of the input bit by bit to the right and query the result at the output. When values with signs are shifted, then the free bit positions are filled with the signal state of the sign bit. When values without signs are shifted, then vacant space is filled with zeros. Consider an example, in which we will show how the instruction shift the input value bit by bit to the right. Here n parameter is equal to 4. Showing that 4 bits will be moved to the right. Ok, check. When we move 4 bits toward right, their next bits will fill the space bit by bit. Similarly, all spaces will be filled by their next bits. Last 4 bits space will left. Since the last bit is signed, so we will fill the bit space by 1. Ok. Now move on programming page. Insert a shift right instruction. Check here. There are different data format available. But we are using byte type data for better understanding. Byte type tags are attached with input and output. Here n is equal to 4. Means we are going to move 4 bits to the right. Ok let's apply some value to the input tag. First change data format. Apply some value. Don't be confused. Instruction is showing data in hex format, means when we apply 67 value at input, it gives 6 at output, let's check how instruction do this. When we move 4 bits to the right, there are 4 bits space left. Since sign bit is 0. That's why. We fill the space by zeros, so the final byte we got is this, if we convert it in hex format. It is equal to 6. Ok now we change the value of n we modify it from 4 to 0. And see what happened. Download the program, check now. Here we are shifting 0 bits. That's why. Input and output values are same, when we change the input value. It remains same. Because value at n is 0. Our next instruction is. Shift left instruction. Shift left instruction is used to shift the content of the input bit by bit to the left and query the result at the output. Consider an example. We are applying some value at input. And the parameter n is 0. So, the same value of input is copied to the output. Consider another example. Value at n is 4. Means we have to shift 4 bits to the left. When instruction is executed, bits are shifted to the left step by step. So, you are seeing that 4 bit places are left. Since signed bit is 0. So we can fill the empty bit space by 4 zeros. Let's check its behavior via live simulation. Here you can see that instruction has been inserted for saving of time. 
Here we are also using byte type data format. For better understanding. When we enable the normally open contact. Instruction is ready for execution. By applying some value you can see. The content of input value is shifted 4 bit positions to the left. And final result is sent to the output. Let's check it on calculator. Don't be confused here. Calculator result is showing complete value. Actually our resulted value is this. And it is equal to 10 only. Apply another value. The content of input value is shifted 4 bit positions to the left. And final result is sent to the output. Let's check it on calculator. Calculator result is showing complete value. Actually our resulted value is this. And it is equal to B0 only. Let's see this example on paper. Here N is equal to 4. Means 4 bits will be shifted to the left. When instructions shift 4 bits to the left. Their empty space is filled by 4 0. This value in hex format is equal to 3 B. And after shifting value will be this. And when we convert it in hex format. It is equal to B0. Our next instruction is. Rotate right instruction. This instruction is used to rotate the content of the input bit by bit to the right and query the result at the output. And parameter is used to tell the instruction. How many bits to be rotated. If the value at the parameter n is 0. Then the value at input is copied to the output. Consider in figure. Here n equals 4. Means instruction will shift 4 bits to the right. If we put value 0 at n. Then same input value is rotated at output. Let's check its behavior on simulator. First we apply value on input. In hex format it is showing F3AC. Here n is equal to 4. See the result. See F3A in hex format. If we apply 0 at parameter n input value will be transferred to the output without any rotation. Now we are changing the value at n parameter, and check the result. We are applying value 8. Here you see that instruction has rotated right its 8 bits. And the result is shown at output. Consider here we are applying value F3AC in hex format. And instruction after rotating 8 bits. Giving the result at output, which is AC F3. Our next instruction of this family is. Rotate left instruction. You can use the rotate left instruction to rotate the content of the input bit by bit to the left. Consider an example, we have an input value. N is equal to 3. Means 3 bits will be rotated. When instruction is executed. 3 bits rotate to the left. Our new value will be like this. Consider another example. We have an input value. Here n is equal to 4. Means 4 bits will be rotated. When instruction is executed. 4 bits rotate to the left. Our new value will be like this. Let's check its behavior on simulator. First we apply value on input. In hex format it is showing 87E8. Here n is equal to 4. See the result. Here you are seeing that. We are rotating 4 bits to left. Now we are changing the value at n parameter, and check the result. We are applying value 8. Here you see that instruction has rotated left its 8 bits. And the result is shown at output. And instruction after rotating 8 bits. Giving the result at output, which is E887.
if we change the value of n parameter to 0. Same input is transferred to the output. So guys. You see the working concept of different members of shift and rotate family. By using these instruction you can shift and rotate input value to the output as your program requirement. If you want more informative videos. Stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.